if you are like me and you just backlash the ever living daylights out of your bait caster, this video is for you. Um, welcome back to uh, the channel, guys. So, to explain what's happening, um, I went out fishing at a creek. I decided to bring this setup to throw a little bit of a heavier lure. And basically, what happened is I cast, my lure hit something, and it just backlashed the crap out of my reel. It is bad. And for those who are wondering, yes, I know how to use a bait caster. Um, this was just a mistake that I made. So today I'm going to um, cut this backlash out and then show you how to put on new line. Okay, so to start, what I'm going to do is... Um, take my reel, get a pair of scissors, and I'm going to try just to cut this out. So, got to find some of the knots here, and be very careful not to nick the spool. Okay, I'm going to pull that, and just kind of um, just dig this out really try and find an end here and just keep cutting and pulling until it uh, comes out so right there we've got a little knot we're going to Cut that out. And yeah, guys. Um, this is probably going to be slightly sped up. There we go. I'm getting it out pretty well here. This is probably going to be sped up, guys. So, um, I'll get you if anything special happens. Um, we got the main part of the backlash out. Now we just have to pull line and uh, hopefully, yeah, there we go. We got the bad part of the backlash out, but I am just going to go ahead and re-spool it and make sure there isn't any little pieces that I've cut still in this reel. So basically what I just did is cut the line and pull and cut and pull until eventually it went ahead and uh, came out there. So we're going to go ahead and pull all this line out. And uh, we'll just throw this um, at two times speed. Also guys, when you're uh, pulling line off... My tip is to keep your thumb on the spool. That way, when you're pulling off line, you don't get a backlash while you're pulling it off. All right, so we got the backlash out. And um, basically what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to spool this up with braid. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of line back um, or backing on here. So this is 12 pound fluoro. You can use some mono or anything. I just had 12 pound fluoro on it, but I'm going to switch up to some braid and just leave a little bit of this on here as my backing. All right. So now we're moving to the, uh, part where we spool up our spool with line. So what you're going to want to do here is take your, uh, line here, and, um, I already have line on this reel, but if you don't, you just put it through the, um, first eye here, and then you put it through the eye in your bait caster here, and then, um, tie it to your spool and give it some tension in reel. But since I already have 
some line on here. I'm just going to put it through the eye here. Come on, camera, focus. I'm just going to put it through the eye. Put it through the uh, first eye on the rod. And then tie my um, braid to it and spool it up. Alright, so we're going to click the spool. This is kind of tricky to do on camera. <laughs> And as you can see, the line got a little loose, so it's a little bit backlash there. That's no big deal. We're going to, sorry if this is off camera, guys. We're going to put the line through that eye. A little bit tricky, but we got it. Now I'm going to pull out that little bit of backlash that I got there. Not that big of a deal. Alright, it's out. Now we're going to reel up a little bit. We're going to take this. Put it through the first eye here. Just like that. And let out a little bit more line. Alright. So, now we're going to tie a double uni or any um, line to line knot um, for mono or Florida braid. And also, guys, if you don't want to put extra line as a backing. You can also just use some kind of like electrical tape and just put a little bit of that in your spool. So for line, um, I'm gonna be using some 30 pound Power Pro braid um, and a quick recommendation to you guys. I got the spider wire braid before um, because it's a bit of a cheaper brand. It's not as expensive. It was 20 pound. And it kind of, the coating on the outside just wears off quick and it uh, causes the line to fray a little bit quicker. So um, I do not recommend that. Here, let me get my box. This is the uh, spider wire here. Uh, not the best I've ever had. It's okay, but uh, I would recommend this more. Um, there is a bunch of different... YouTube tutorials out there on how to tie the double uni knot, and that is the knot I'm going to be tying. If you guys want to find out how to tie the double uni knot, wow, this is packaged well and I can't get it out. Um, if you guys want to learn how to tie the double uni knot, just uh, look up double uni knot on YouTube, and you should pretty easily find a video on how to tie that knot. Alright, so we got our double uni tied here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim my tag end here, if I can get this. Alright, here we go. Just going to trim the tag end. Focus. Focus, camera. Hello? My camera does not want to focus, does it? There we go. Please stay focused. We're just going to... uh. Cut that tag in there. Um, and then cut the tag end for the flora. There we go. And now our lines are connected. There is other ways uh, you can do this. But in my case here, I'm going to have someone stick a pen through here. And hold it, that way the line comes off freely without twisting. Alright, so we are spooled up with our uh, Power Pro 30 pound line. I've filled it up about 90% full. I don't fill it all the way. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is how to remove a backlash and re spool a bait caster. And uh, that was a really bad backlash, but it came out pretty easy when you take scissors um, and just cut it out. Which can be annoying because the braid was $13 to 
uh, spool this up. But, I mean, it is what it is. It happens. Uh, almost everybody does it. So, yeah. Hopefully, this video helped you guys or will help you in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please consider liking and hitting that subscribe button. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.